Hi, how are you? Welcome back to the Blacktop Performance Channel. Uh, first video I've made in a month, month and a half or so. Um, actually, I had caught COVID and went through that drama. and I've got a dear family member going through cancer and chemo treatment, so I've been helping out as much as I can there. But anyway, I'm um, trying to get back into some videos. Um, as you can tell, Camaro is still not painted. Uh, waiting on a friend that has a trailer. Um, I'm hoping within, I don't know when, but I'm hoping hook up with him sometime. Get it hauled to the paint shop, get this painted so I can get on with the interior and finishing up this project. But at the moment, we actually have another project happening here. Uh, it's a 2015 Dodge Journey that we are going to be replacing a crankshaft sensor or a position sensor. Right here is the new part. They put it in a very tough spot. We're going to show you how to change a crankshaft positioning sensor on a 2.4 liter. I believe this is like from 2009 up to... Uh, I'm not sure, 2017 or something. I don't know these Dodge Journeys and the models, but it should work on quite a few of these vehicles like this or on any pretty much 2.4. I think they got them in Dodge Avengers as well. Basically, you're going to have to get it from the bottom. They got it behind a heat shield, and it is kind of in a difficult area. But we're going to crawl under there here in a bit. And point that out to you show you what we're working with and how to how to replace that so let me get up under here and get position I basically I got it jacked up it's on jack stands you gotta work your way all the way in the back hang in there with me I'm gonna try to set this up and set y'all up with some light I'll show you the heat shield. Basically, there's the heat shield. And it's a, it's a pretty long one, but I don't have to take the whole thing off. There will be two bolts for sure I'm going to have to take off. I got one right here. Let's see if I can... There's one right here, like a 10 millimeter... I believe the other one's a 13 millimeter. And if you see this cable right here that my light's shining on, it's the cable that plugs into the crankshaft positioning sensor right here. So that's the cable that goes into the crankshaft positioning sensor. Now, just so y'all can kind of get a general idea of where we are, this is the oil pan right here. So above the oil pan, about six inches, and to the left of it, it'll be underneath this CV joint rod, and it's right underneath the exhaust manifold, about eight inches. So that'll kind of give you a general idea where it'll be on this 2.4. So we're going to take this bolt off right, well I can't give you a better view because of the blocks or the bracings in the way. There's a bolt here, there's another bolt down below it right here, a bolt there. That'll let us remove this heat shield to a point, give us some access so we can get to this cable. Follow this cable around to where it plugs in, unplug it. There'll be one 10 millimeter bolt right there, then we can pull out the crankshaft position sensor slap some lube around the rubber ring and put in a new one and that's our mission for today so I'm gonna grab some tools and see about throwing down on this get these two bolts off of the heat shield and go from there and we'll be bringing you right back so See ya. All right. I brought y'all back to show you this. I think I got a better view for y'all now. This is one of the boats right here. And this is the other one. I'm hoping that I can then kind of 
pry this back a little bit, get this heat shield out of the way. Um, then we can unplug that and get to that crankshaft position sensor. So I want to kind of bring y'all in here, show you basically what I'm using is a quarter inch ratchet, three inch extension, and taking these bolts off. Whoops. Well, hopefully I can get this off by hand now. Keep the camera in focus. Sorry about the noise. That's the mailman running late. Gonna have to talk to him about that. Although he won't listen. Uh, one bolt off. Let me change the sockets here. That's a 10 millimeter, that one was, I believe. This other one will be a 13 millimeter. Sorry about the camera. I'll be right back in focus. I gotta grab this other socket. Uh, put that here. I'm hoping I can get that off by hand. Come on. Still a little snug. There we go. Now, I don't know if I can get to the camshaft position sensor with the camera, but I'm going to try to give you all a view on that. That, that bolt off. Now, let's see if I can, right behind here, move this out of the way. Right here, there's the plug-in, and there's the crankshaft position right there. I don't know if I can get this up here a little better, maybe y'all can get a view. Basically, that's where they got it buried. Don't ask me why. I hate working on newer cars, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to try to get that unplugged. Should be able to just squeeze it, pop the plug off. Then there's a 10 millimeter bolt holding that position sensor in. And then we'll go from there, and I'll try to bring you all back when I can. So, stay tuned for these commercials. Okay, wanted to bring y'all back in here to see this. Um, I got the socket and extension on the 10 millimeter bolt that holds in the crankshaft sensor. Um, that is the new one. This is the old one. I manage it holds one bolt holds it in 10 millimeter right there. But I was having trouble pulling that cable off. Cause it's got that red tab you got to pull it back and then you can squeeze these two edges together pull it out so i went ahead and took the 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt out and pulled the old sensor out all the way and then that game because there was enough slack in this cable to where i could actually pull it down here where i could work both hands on it so there was access to get the 10 millimeter bolt on or the socket on the 10 millimeter bolt loosen it up pull it all out cable still installed and then i had enough slack in the cable to pull it down some and disconnect it that way and we've already stuck the new sensor in we've got the 10 millimeter bolt on it now and we're going to be tightening that up the rest of the way and the i've re already replugged into the, the connector so we're good there Hopefully it's all good to go and the code I'm not sure what code popped up. I'll have to look at the paperwork again um, There was a check engine light on She took it to like your auto zone or O'Reilly's got it red and They popped up with the crankshaft positioning sensor was the most likely culprit and that's why we've taken this route but that's how you change a Crankshaft positioning sensor on a 2015 Dodge Journey 2.4 liter. Uh, I don't know what they would charge at a shop. Probably around $240, I'm thinking. You can do it. Um, you'd be better off going out buying an old school car, you know. But that's just me. Anyway, a couple bolts on a heat shield. Pull it out of your way. You can get to the sensor. It is a little headache. I kind of had to use a mirror and a flashlight kind of guide myself to where I was going, look to see what I was doing. 
I do have a better positioning now on it. You can work as far as the camera goes where you can see what's up. But it's doable. Uh, save yourself some money and do it yourself. And this is tips and tricks from Johnny coming at you with Black Top Performance. I'm going to button this up. We'll tighten this down a little more. Put two bolts in this heat shield right there and there. Right there and there. And we're done. We'll crank it up and try it from there. So, hope this helps somebody out there that has uh, this issue or looking where the position is, the location is for the crankshaft positioning sensor. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. So, thanks for tuning in and y'all have a beautiful day.